Hi there. So today I'm gonna be working down here in the gully. Uh, I'm gonna dig up three hosta. They're called Paul's Glory. Actually four, because I got one right there too. So I have three right here and then one right there. So those four hosta I'm probably gonna just put out by the side of the road or text my family and see if they want it, want them. Uh, and then the other two hosta I'm gonna dig out and put in a different location. I'm digging the four Paul's Glories out because I just don't like what the variegation does on the leaves throughout the season. They start off this really neat kind of limey green color with a dark green edge and a nice limey green middle. And then they just kind of start looking gross. I don't really know how to explain it, but I just don't like what they do. And it's typical. I, I googled it and it turns out that that's just kind of what Paul's Glory does. So I'm going to dig these out. I will give them to people if, if they want them. And then uh, I'm going to replace them with three different hasta that I got. And then over here, I'm going to dig out these three hasta right here. So I'm going to dig out that, I'm going to dig out that Twilight, this Drinking Gourd, and this Paul's Glory. I'm going to put the Twilight and Drinking Gourd in a different spot and then give that one away. And then I'll replace them with three of the same Hasta. And I've got Christmas Pageant Hasta and I also have Diana Remembered Hasta. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. Got to go grab my shovel. But uh, it's looking pretty good out here for, oh, there's the chipmunk. In his usual spot. Hey bud. What you doing? Did you get enough nuts? There's lots more you can get. <laughs> Max is up there watching. It's crazy how great the garden still looks. The hosta, I mean, some of the hosta are starting to turn yellow, but I mean, the majority of them are looking pretty good. This heucra is doing awesome. My impatiens are still doing awesome. I got the red ones there and then the pink ones over here. They're still looking really nice. It's crazy. It's like going on mid-October already and and uh, you'd think that stuff would be looking a little bit more shabbier, but I guess not. I'll take it. So these are the six hosta I'm going to replace, and these look pretty bad. They've been in these pots for a while. The roots are still good. Uh, I'll just come in here and kind of clean them up a little bit, but next year they'll be really great. And I completely forgot about this uh, clematis here. I still got to get that in the ground as well. And then somebody gave me this cactus, and it's a hardy cactus. So I'm pretty excited to get that in the ground somewhere in the sun. But I was thinking about I wanted to make a trellis for this out of my birch sticks that I saved from trimming my birch tree. Maybe we'll do that soon too. But today we're going to get those hosta planted up. These are the last of the plants unless I go shopping and buy some more. I honestly... I'm having a hard time even wanting to give these away because if I feel this way about them, then someone else possibly would too. You know what I mean? I don't want to give away something that I think is ugly. I also don't want to toss them either. Uh, we'll figure it out. They've only been in here for like three years, maybe. Holy cow. do is grab like a plastic bag 
and then I'll put them up by the road. If somebody wants them, they can have them. If not, I'll just probably toss them. There's a lady out here walking her two dogs. And uh, the neighbor dog's barking at her. It's funny. He's like, I've never seen those dogs before. He's probably like, he wants to play with them or something. The neighbor dog is like a beautiful dog. It's like a, um, I don't know what color you'd call it, but it's a, well, Amber. His name is, the dog's name is Amber. Her, or her name is Amber. And it's kind of like an amber colored uh, lab, like a, like a, I don't know, a lighter colored chocolate lab. It's beautiful. Really nice dog. So yeah, we'll put these out by the road. If somebody wants them, they can have them. Uh, if they're still there by the time the trash comes next week, I'll probably chuck them. All right, I got all this great space. Lots of worms. Okay, so since we're here, let's get uh, the Diana Remembered planted. I'll be back, I'm gonna go grab the hasta. So yeah, I think I'm going to put this Diana Remembered there. Like I said, it is not looking the greatest. We are almost halfway through October, so these are not in their prime, that is for sure. But they are a beautiful leaf, and I'll try to get a video of when I found these in the store. So pretty. Diana remembered. It says, Diana remembered, named after the late Diana, Princess of Wales, forms a mound of ovate blue-green leaves with creamy white margins, very fragrant. Near white flowers are an added bonus. Uh, shade zone three through nine, keep well watered. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. And I don't have this one yet in my collection. I'm pretty excited about it. We're just gonna throw some fertilizer on them. These are super rip bound. Holy cow. They're gonna love being planted. That's for sure. I'm 
gonna leave one of the tags in here so I remember what they are until I memorize it. to get those out of here I just I love pasta but I don't know every time I looked at those ones I'm like <laughs> no I don't even have any words for it because I, I feel bad but I just wasn't impressed with them so you know I just I gave them a chance I think, like I said, they've been in here for about three or four years. This could have been their fourth summer. And uh, they just never did anything for me. So, you know, at that point, it's time to time to take them out. Get something else that I'm going to love. And I love the name of these Diana Remembered. It's just so precious. So, right, and then I'll save... One of these tags for my little stash inside. Okay. That looks good. Oh man, that looks better already. <laughs> I know they're, they're tiny, but they get, what did we say? Did I even say? 18 to 24 inches tall and wide. So they will spread out really nicely in there. Now these ones are the Christmas pageant and we're gonna put these right in here. already I know I always say that but it does and it's just only because personally that has always bugged me uh, a lot of the hasta in my garden either reseed themselves or I just keep digging and splitting them and for sure that drinking gourd just popped up right there and I left it and I've been meaning to move that drinking gourd for quite some time and then uh, I didn't realize how big that twilight was gonna get when I planted it there and then obviously the Paul's Glory, I didn't want that anymore. So, you know, this little section right here, I've always kind of wanted to be more of like a nice flowing section and have all the same hasta. I just have never got around to doing it. So I'm excited that I finally am. And so we're going to put a Christmas pageant in there. I think it'll be a nice contrast to this green velvet boxwood here. And this is what it looks like up close. It's a really pretty leaf. I got these for 50% off at Home Depot. One day they were doing 50% off pasta sale. We'll get these in the ground. Do one. I might even move the holes actually. So just like one, two, three. And we'll do. Not gonna put it in the same hole. So, how big do they get? 36 to 48 wide. So, oh, they get pretty big. Maybe I'll keep them in that same hole. Okay. And I'll come through and water them at the end. And what I'll do with this tag, since it's like glued onto the side here, I'll just take a scissors and cut that out. 
I like to save save the tags so I can remember what they are. I like to memorize the plants. A lot of them have really neat names and somebody took the time to really think about what they wanted to name each particular variety of pasta and so I think it's really cool. So I like to call them all by name. These are also a hassa that I do not have in my garden yet. So I'm pretty excited to add it to my collection. So in order to save this tag, I'm just gonna cut this. Oops. And I'll probably do it to two of them. I'll put stick one in the ground and then take one inside. Oh man, that looks so much better. It's just much easier on the eye much more cohesive and it kind of allows your eye to just carry right on through there with all the same hasta. I am going to miss that drinking gourd in there though. I just thought that was a beautiful, beautiful color. I do have to put it somewhere. I could put it in here somewhere. Let's see here. That's just there for now. I could put it... Hmm. I don't know. I could put it right there. That might be pretty. I feel like I had something there, though. Didn't I have something there? Oh, yeah. I have one little Benvernoy that got eaten. Hmm. And I have something there. Those are two Hasa that got eaten. One there and there. I could move my bench over a little bit and then put that planter inside this rock bed and then plant the hosta over there. But for some reason, I have been dragging my feet on this area over here because I kind of want to make some sort of another path to go down that way. I just don't know what, how to do it yet. I have three bleeding hearts in here, so I can't put anything right there, but I could move that and put my drinking gourd there. Let's do that. Okay, it's all right. I don't necessarily like it. I think it would look better if I had a green boxwood in it. So I might put it back the way it was. And then... I don't know. I don't really want to push anything in that area. Because like I said, I eventually want to try to make some sort of path through here and I'll have to move some things and I don't want to have to move it twice.
twice. So you know what? I think I might actually plant them, these two plants here, the twilight and the drinking gourd over in my raised beds. I've got some space over there where I can plant them until next season. will stay there until I am ready to use them. All right, well, I'm so grateful because I just got done talking to my neighbor and she's very knowledgeable about seed saving and uh, she's a great vegetable gardener. She knows all about what to plant for what pollinators. Uh, she's just been doing this for a lot longer than me and I tend to lean towards more like the plants kind of gardening like you know like landscaping type of gardening and she does more like vegetable gardening and things like that anyway I'm pretty sure she starts like all of her plants from seed and so she was telling me she watched my movie the other day and she's like I noticed that you tried to save seeds uh, when there was still color on the petal because you want to get the that particular color but she said uh, you really can get a lot more seeds and it works better if you wait until they're you know completely bloomed out and dry and then collect the seeds so I'm so glad she told me that uh, she's like you know you're not gonna know what color it is obviously because it's completely brown and dry but at least you will for sure get some seeds so I'm actually gonna go over there right now <laughs> back to where my other zinnia patch is and I'm going to get a paper bag like she told me to and collect some more zinnia and what I'm referring to is I collected some the other day and I did get some with seeds on it but uh, she is correct I there's not that many seeds because I just looked down the other day and I'm like Oof. I'm gonna put all my stuff away here and then we're gonna go inside, grab a paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't with one arm. I'm gonna do this with one arm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna put my shovel Let's away. Let's go collect some more zinnias. Like I said, the ones I cut off already, they were more like this so that I could save that particular color. And I did get some seeds off of them, but not as many as I could have if I would have cut more like that. I'm just gonna come in here and rip these off and save them.
these are all the seeds that I can save right there. It's a lot more than when I saved them the first time. So I'll just put them in a paper bag once I get them in the house. But she was commenting too on all the, the butterflies that we had over here. It was so awesome. She's like, well, I've been planting fennel. So she's like, I, I've got a place where they can lay their eggs and you've got a place where they can uh, stuff up the nectar. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so awesome. We got it covered between the two of us here. And the hummingbirds that we had this year were amazing too. So many hummingbirds. Oh yeah, we're gonna get lots of seeds. Might not know what color they are, but that's okay. That's probably good enough. All right. Well, it is looking better already. I feel like with those, dare I say it, U-G-L-Y pasta that were in here and these Diana remembered just kind of took my breath away when I seen them in the garden center and I just had to have them. So I'm so glad to put them right front and center. And then these Christmas pageants over here, I just think that it'll be a lot easier on your eyes having three of the same hosta kind of carry you around to that section. And I did end up moving that planter back over there. Eventually I'll probably bring that planter up on my deck anyway, but at least I got over here because I was able to kind of blow this out and clean it up a little bit. There he is. The squeaker. He's on that rock. Chipmunk crossing. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It was super fun to get out here and get rid of those hasa that I've been staring at for the last several years thinking, oh, maybe they'll pull out of it. And I'm just like, you know what? It's time. I have enough hasa in my yard. I can replace it with something that I adore instead of staring at something that drives me nuts every time I see it. And so I'm really excited that I finally bit the bullet and got that done. Because it is a little bit of a struggle to dig out a plant for your garden that you don't want in your garden anymore. You can kind of feel bad about it sometimes, but I've been learning that, you know, I don't have time to feel bad about a plant in my garden. I'd rather just take that step, get rid of it, gift it to somebody else if they want it. If they don't, I can toss it or put it out by the road. No big deal. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to get back inside and get those seeds in a paper bag and hopefully we can save a bunch of zinnia seeds for next year. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and just a beautiful day, whatever day you're watching this. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye. Mr. Max, did you tear down my streamer? It's Nate's birthday today and he has been loving these streamers. Surprised they're all not down. But I am working on decorating for Nate's birthday. I already got that going on. And then I got his presents down there and he requested a chicken pot pie. My, oh. Good job, buddy. Good job. You get it? Go ahead. I'm watching my sister's movie. Good job, buddy. <laughs> he loves it. I'm watching my sister's uh, movie in the background. She's making diffusers. So 
that's pretty fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue to make Nate's chicken pot pie. He requested chicken pot pie, my nanny's recipe that she got from Paula Dean and kind of modified it. Working on the crust right now. And then uh, for dessert, he wanted brownie cheesecake. So maybe I'll throw a picture of that in when it's all done.